it's been a while. I think it's been a while. I don't really know how much of a while it's been for you guys, but for me, it's been a long ass day. More like a long ass Sunday slash Monday because like my phone died. And okay, uh, I don't even remember if I did a video on Sunday. I think I did a video on Sunday. I don't. I do not honestly don't even remember. Like, it just okay. Um, let's start off at the beginning, I guess. Um, so Saturday. I don't even really remember Saturday that much. God, my memory is awful. We know this, like. Yes. Sorry, my friend and I are planning, like, uh, the, uh, whole movie trip. On to that, a uh, topic. <sighs> the entire fucking school got on my nerves because... Especially the little itty-bitty freshmen. Because, like, Jesus. <sighs> they just... A lot. <laughs> Boo-boo's not happy because, like, dude. Wow. Okay. Infinity War came out this weekend. I did not watch it this weekend because, like, obviously, like, I'm not going to watch it this weekend because, like, too many people. Jesus. Like, <laughs> I am not all about that life. So, thanks. Um, I'm actually not even going to a friend's, like, I love this friend. Like, she's helped me a lot of times, like, out a lot of times. Like, she's a great friend. And a great all-around person. I'm not as close to her as I am to my, like, three best friends. But she has the potential to be a best friend. But I don't think we're actually going to become, like, best best friends. Because, like, she's just kind of, like, we're a little bit too different, you know? She's a lot more social than I am. Not to the extent that, like, we can't be friends. Not, like, that far social. But, like, she is kind of more social and, like, she's more active and, like, exercises and like when well, I mean she dances but like this is like that's an exercise she's like social like she has like a lot of friends and connections and I'm just a little bit of a lore a little bit of a let's keep it all together guys like I'll be friendly like I'll be civil like I'm fine with that but like I'm very close-knit you know like I'll be friendly I'll be like yeah hi like I just I just I'm not like one of those people who's just like best friends with everyone like I'm just not one of those people at all <laughs> um like I remember I tried to be in the beginning of middle school <laughs> most stressful time of my life actually that's a lie right now is the most stressful time of my life and you can tell because when I'm stressed I get a lot more irritable but then there's also the fact that I have this little tick that I do when I'm irritated or stressed or just like all around nervous or scared. I, you know, most people like when they're nervous or scared, they like tap, which I do that sometimes, but not often. Or like they chew their fingernails, but I've done. It's so gross. Like it just, the texture, just like everything about chewing your nails just is disgusting to me. Like if you do that, that's fine. Like just everyone does their own little tick thing, like whatever. My tick is either chewing, well, most often it's like the initial bite where I break the skin on the fingernail, on the fingertips. Usually it's like either my thumb or my middle-ish fingers, like these two fingers, or my thumb. Like those are the ones that I usually target the most, where I just kind of like, I bite them, and then I like make the like break point, and then like start peeling the skin. And like I do it without even realizing it. Like I didn't even realize it until I'm like, uh, I think it was, like, around middle school when I started realizing that I have this tick. And, like, I just, like, I'm always, like, <laughs> peel, 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 peel. And it gets really bad. I think the worst it's ever gotten was when, like, I literally peeled it all the way back to my knuckle. And was still pe peeling. Like, my God, it was so bad. <laughs> um. Yep. Sorry. Talking about paying him back for, because he, he paid, like, for all of our movie tickets, like, together, like, in a group thing. I don't know if I'm making any sense at all right now, because, like, I'm all over the place. Um, but yeah, I have a, I have a little tick that I do when I'm really nervous or stressed. Or, like, I don't know. Um, which you can tell, like, I furiously, like, peel my skin. I'm just like, shit, 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 peel, peel, peel. Like, 
Uh, I think, like, I really, really noticed it today, though, because, like, my uncle, he's, like, a very, like, pretty, like, calm, collected, like, very, like, chill, kind of, like, very, like, opinionated, very, like, calm, like, I don't know how to explain him, but he's kind of like that, and today, he just got really frustrated because, well, actually, I think the first time that he got really frustrated with me is yesterday, because, um... Which, from my standpoint, you have to see that, like, I'm kind of influenced by my dad. I love my dad. Like, everyone who knows me knows I love my dad. Like, I have a very strong connection and love with my father. Like, it's just a, a given. Um, and so I'm kind of biased towards him. Although I do admit he has many faults, as everyone does. Like, I <laughs> have very fault, many faults myself. Like, pretty sure on the scale of faults versus pros i don't know how to say that uh part of the other set of shit okay anyways on the fault slash pro scale or the con slash pro scale i'm pretty sure my cons are like far away the pros of my personality <laughs> which is why i get a lot of self-esteem issues because like i'm just always like i'm a fucking terrible ass person like shit mm, yeah <laughs> It's bad. Um. Anyways, <laughs> moving on from my issues. <laughs> you can never escape your problems. Are you okay? It's denial. Fuck. Okay. Um. Anyways, let's continue on. Okay. Um. But my uncle kind of like got really irritated because, like, from my standpoint, like, I just see him as like this very like family oriented like well he's actually not very family oriented like he's very like independent he's always like i'm on my own little road stuff and i thought like we related on a lot of stuff because i've talked about like how we related on a lot of stuff you know and um i didn't really see how much he was sacrificing because like to me because like i'm kind of biased because like my dad and he's always complaining about my uncle and vice versa my uncle's always complaining about my dad because in my dad's eyes mike is always asking for money mike is always thinner mike is always better than him and I think in a way my dad kind of is like jealous of my uncle mm. and um yeah which I kind of understand because I have a cousin who I'm really close to but at the same time like I was kind of jealous of her in the beginning because like to me like everyone who I met like that talked to her about her in my family was always like oh she's perfect like, she's the most sweetest person, and she is. She's, like, one of the most sweetest people that I've ever met. Um, but, like, she's just very, like, I don't know. Like, just everyone who talks about her in my family is always like, oh, my gosh, she's the best. She's, like, so sweet. Like, she, um, she's, like, is really fluent in Japanese. She's, like, super smart, like, blah, 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 blah. All of this good stuff about her. And so, like, I've just kind of, like, she's been put on this pedestal. And, like, when I was younger, I didn't really remember her that well. So, like, I didn't understand until I got to meet her and was like, oh, my God, this pedal's so, so overrated. Like, she's nothing like how they explain her. Like, I mean, sure, some of it, but, like, they just, like, talking to her in person just, like, made her feel like this, from this, like, pedestal of, like, statue-esque kind of, like, perfect thing that I was supposed to strive for, supposed to, like, strive for according to my family, um like she just became more humane and more like my cousin and, like we just grew closer and like we're you're very close now but um we differ on a lot of stuff though like i am very like i need like when i have an emotion i express it very clearly and i also <laughs> um although i am kind of good at hiding my emotions sometimes too because like living with my mom like you kind of had to hide your emotions sometimes because like <laughs> Papa needs to hide your emotions a little bit because, like, sometimes, like, you just can't handle, like, stable, like, you know, conditions. Um, but, so, uh, so most of the time I'm, like, pretty, like, open book. Like, I just, like, don't give a fuck. Like, I just do my emotions, whatever. Let them control me, if you will. Um, I'm, like, I'm just a thoughtless thinker or thoughtless actions, whatever. And she's very, like, in control, reserved very quiet like if i think something i'm gonna say it. like if she thinks something she thinks about it many 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 times over before she says it 
Um, and her version of expressing herself is through art. My version of expressing myself is through words. So that's why I'm, like, such an open book, why I'm so, like, out there. <laughs> and so we're very different on that aspect. And also, like, whenever I need to get something off my chest or whenever there's a problem, like, I want it to be solved like that. Like, I want it to be, like, solved really quickly. I want it to be done as quick as possible. And she's one of those people who just kind of lets it simmer there. Just lets it be, like, the elephant in the room where I... I'm going to slaughter the elephant in the room or, like, talk to the fucking elephant in the room because, like, I do not want the elephant in the room. Like, you know, like, no. Like, I ain't sitting there with an elephant in the room. Like, it's going to crowd my space. I don't want a crowded space. I want open, empty, beautiful space. Excuse me, elephant, get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? And, like, she's one of those people who's just kind of like, oh, there's an elephant in the room. I'm going to turn my head to the side. Like, she's one of those people. So, like, we differ on that. Like, but that's one of the few, like, very big differences. Also, her intelligence. <laughs> um, but I don't know. She's just, like, way more humane now. And, like, we're closer now than she was when I was a couple years younger. And I was kind of just, like, jealous of her. Because, like, I just, like, was always, like, this is what my family is always pressuring me to be like. And I just can't do it. And, like, I just, like, learned to be myself and not conform to society or what to what my family wanted. Because, like, that wasn't making me happy. That was actually really unhappy, stressful, like, just not okay. Um, but, um, what am I saying? I feel like my dad is kind of like that with my uncle. And uh, so he kind of, like, rebels a little bit. And he's, like, a little childish. But he's actually really fun because, like, this is where we can relate a lot to my dad. And I love my dad. And, like, this is... Like, one of my favorite parts of my dad is his, like, humor and stuff. And he can always make me happy. He can always make me smile. But there's a downside because, like, if he's all about fun, then, like, where's the responsibility? And then he's also kind of super arrogant. Um, actually, both my uncle and my dad are kind of arrogant. Um, uh, yeah. Um, but as I was saying, like, my dad kind of has a habit of, like, avoiding problems, and my uncle kind of is like me, where he just kind of, like, faces it, and is like, heads on, and he's like, elephant, get the fuck out, and my dad's kind of, like, a little bit like my cousin, where he's just kind of like, mm, I'm gonna turn my head, um, and so, um, the elephant in the room, obviously, is my grandma, like, she's kind of, like, getting older like she's kind of like slowly deteriorating and it's so sad to see because she's just like so frustrated with herself she's so frustrated with everyone around her and she's always like putting her frustration about herself onto me because she just is starting to hate herself and thinks she's stupid so she tells me that she hates me that I'm stupid and like at first I was incredibly hurt by like by it I was just like great I went from someone who went through psychotic episodes and then was silent and like neglected me like pretty much like for like years and then now I'm with someone else who's like just putting up all their frustrations on me and like yelling at me too like I was just like devastated like I was like oh my god like I, I like literally like made no progress like why did I escape that hell to just enter another hell but then I finally like learned that like it's like it's not my grandma's fault and it wasn't my mom's fault like it's just their minds like it's like the saddest thing to see someone's mind give up on them and um although like my mom's mind and my grandma's mind are like giving up on them in different ways or like are deteriorating in different ways but like still like they're the same kind of like fighting against your own mind and stuff and it's really just sad to see because like my grandma's so frustrated about it and she doesn't want to give up her independence, but then her stubbornness and, like, neglecting, like, to, like, accept it is just, like, <laughs> affecting everything she does and everything that happens to me and everyone around her. And just, like, it's just really sad. And, like, I want to talk to her, and I do, but she's just one of those people who just, like, again, like, prefers to ignore the problem instead of go up to it and be like, yo, like, there's a problem, like, we gotta fix it, like, I am, like, I'm one of those, like, fixer problemers, like, I don't, I don't, I don't let it sit there, I don't let it simmer, like, I fix the problem when it's there, like, I'm just one of those people, where a lot of people that I know, or a lot of people in my family, just, like, they just, like, love to ignore it, and my uncle's the same way as me, like, a fixer-upper, 
And so, well, my dad chose to go to Honduras, which honestly, like, I didn't see a problem with it when, like, he first left, because I was just kind of like, I'm going to be really, really sad, because I'm going to be all alone now, but, uh, like, it's just what he has to do, which it wasn't what he has to, had to do, because honestly, like, this Honduras mission, like, he's, it's not necessary, like, he's about to retire in, like, maybe a year or two, and so this Honduras trip for, like, nine months is not necessary, he just wanted to, like, do a little, like, hurrah or whatever, and I was totally fine with it, I was like, I still am kind of fine with it, but I'm starting to realize, like, it's his way of, like, escaping the problem, which was my grandma, and kind of just, like, left me to take care of it, and I'm a minor, so, like, that was not really okay, and so my uncle was always like, what the fuck? <laughs> and he's a fixer upper like me. And was like, boy. And he moved from Washington, which he was planning on moving to Was from Washington anyways, because like marital problem. Well, actually, he wasn't married to her, but he was with his girlfriend for a really long time. And then he ended up just like leaving because like he just he just was like there was no love between them anymore, and so he just kind of like couldn't like live there anymore. And so he wanted to move to Oregon and. He was working with, like, realtors and stuff to move to Oregon. And then he found out about what my dad did, and he left, and how bad my grandma's shape was. And he was like, oh, oh, I have to move there now. And so he quit his job, which was really good pay. It was, like, 40 bucks an hour, I think, because he was a contractor, I think. And he was, like, he had really good money. And he quit that job, and he moved here to California, which, if you don't know, my uncle hates California because, like... He hates the heat. Like, he loves the stormy weather. He loves rain. Which, I'm the same way. I love it. Like, it's so much fun. Like, it's, it's really, honestly great. Like, like 24-7, I could live with. Like, I wouldn't be entirely mad at. But, like, I would be okay with a little bit of sun <laughs> occasionally. Like, you know? Um, but, yeah. Um... Cause I just love the nature and like the the hiking and just like the greenery. Oh my god! Just everything about those kind of areas where it's always raining or it's like deciduous forests. Like they're just so nice. Like I love them. Um, and yet another reason my my uncle and I are the same because we both are not the biggest fan of heat. Um, plus dry heat like does not agree with me. Like it's just oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. I hate dry heat. Like, I'm used to it because, like, I was born here and I've been living here pretty much my entire life. But I still don't really like California. Plus, California is getting so compacted now because everyone's moving to California. And it's just kind of like, <laughs> it's uh, packed. Like, really packed. And, like, everything's expensive. Like, the government is ripping you off on every single little corner. Like, are you fucking kidding me, man? Like, honestly, like, I learned about, like, a lot of stuff that, like, my uncle has that's, like, really cheaper. And I learned, like, from Wisconsin when my dad lived there shortly because uh, he had, like, a, three years he lived there for the army. And, like, it's so much cheaper in those states. And, like, here it's, like, so fucking expensive. Like, why? Like, there's no other reason other than government being a fucking asshole. But anyways. <clears throat> so he quit his job. I was really paying well. He came here, he hates this weather, and he comes to, like, an abandoned house, and he's one of those people who's, like, kind of low-key OCD, but not really OCD, and my dad is a very hoarder, clutter, mess, disaster kind of guy, and he came to the house and was like, oh my god, like, holy shit, man, and, like, totally was, like, boy, and so he's, like, been working, like, relentlessly trying to fix the house, which, honestly, like, the house looks, like, way nicer than my dad had. Like, it's not, like... As bad as it, like, is in those, like, hoarder movie, like, show, TV shows. Like, it's not to the fucking ceiling. But, like, he has, like, a lot of boxes, places, and just, like, a lot of, like, stuff just, like, shoved into corners. And he's like, yeah, that's good. Like, no, Dad. Like, you just, you're just a shopaholic slash hoarder. I think I love you. But, like, that is one of your biggest faults for me that's really fucking annoying. Um, but, so, my uncle's, like, going through all that. And he's, like, really frustrated. And then he's also having to cook for us. Which, honestly, like, I wish he could, like, teach me more. Because, like, he's kind of, like, doing it all. Because, like, my grandma's kitchen, like, we live in a condo. So, like, her kitchen is really small. So, he can't cook inside that kitchen very well. Especially the type of food he wants to cook. Because my grandma's really picky. She loves Japanese food. So, he's trying to make Japanese food. Which is extremely hard to make. 
some of the food is so hard to make that like you need you huge space and like various like tools and stuff which my grandma does not have so like he has to like work at my dad's place and that kind of like makes him feel like a caterer because like he's just kind of cooking over there and bringing food here and I'm not really learning anything which kind of frustrates me because I'm a shit cook like pretty much the only thing I can make is like prepackaged or breakfast food and some sandwiches like that's pretty much the extent of what I can cook oh and rice but like I can't cook oh ramen and spaghetti but again those are kind of packaged foods and like I just can't cook much and I want to cook more like the problem is that like anytime I try to cook something like there is some basic cooking knowledge that I do not know at all and a lot of the recipes I pick like are for amateurs or like for people who are actually like semi good at cooking and like they don't give you like the basics and the basic like cooking rules that are like pretty much unsaid but known by everyone except for me because like I'm a total fucking beginner and like have no fucking clue and so like I'll try in these recipes and then I'm just like they're taking forever because like I'm slow because I'm a beginner but then also like I don't do steps that they like un like they say they say but they don't say explicitly so like I don't know and so like I wish he would teach me, like, the basics and stuff, but, like, he's just so busy. Um, Plus, also here, like, he literally has no income because he just kind of, like, moved here. Um, And so he's, like, on unemployment, I think. So he has, or he's working to get unemployment, but he doesn't really have any income. And he has, like, three jobs that he's working towards. But, like, he's just, like, trying to figure that out. And then he's also cooking for us every day. And then, like... It's just, he does so much, and I just, like, feel so bad, because, like, it, it just, he hates, he, it, he hates California, like, he hates crowded spaces, he hates heat, like, he just does not like California at all, and he just came here for, like, my grandma and me, and, like, I just feel bad, and then, like, uh, I'm kind of biased, because, like, I'm so used to my dad complaining about him, um, and so... Like, I told him, like, about, like, what my dad was kind of telling me earlier before he left. And, like, he just got so mad and, like, was, like, freaking out over it. And was, like, I'm not freaking out because, like, I've seen actual freakouts. He was just, like, a little bit more frustrated and was, like, annoyed. And was, like, um, like, no. Like, and then he explained it to me. And I was just, like, I felt so bad because, like, I was just kind of, like, so biased and, like, so, like, shielded from, like, the truth. Which, obviously, like, he's not perfect. But, like, he's done so much for us, and what have I done? I've just complained about it. And, like, my grandma, like, is not in the grand mindset to be thankful. So, like, I have to be as thankful and grateful and learn from his, him as much as I can um, while he's here. Because, like, he's here for us. Like, I should be, like, grateful, not complaining. And, like, just, like, <laughs> I'm just irritated with myself. And then, like, there's just, anytime I call him, it's like, I'm not, like, casual conversation. I'm always, like... <laughs> Yeah, Grandma's freaking out, or, like, um... Like the, I think the last time I talked to him, I was just kind of like, Yeah, I need this or something. And I was just, like, I just, like, had an awakening. I was like, bitch, you're so fucking needy. Like, wow. Jesus. Like, gee, shit. Like, man, like, d- d- did you even think to be thankful? Like, just... I'm just irritated with myself. And then grandma had like a similar episode where she was just kind of ungrateful and she was all like I'm gonna move or something and like you don't take care of me and I was just like grandma like a few like he what and then he got mad and had the same lecture at her and then I started reading out because like I don't like anyone upset and so like I started peeling off like my skin and like it was just bad and then he like left and my grandma's just kind of like sitting there like (laughs) like I don't know um, another bad habit when I'm nervous or, like, thinking or, like, whatever. Like, I chew my lips a lot, too. Which I might, like, I haven't done that in a while, actually. Uh, or when I do, like, I don't do it enough that it, like, really breaks the skin that much. It just kind of, like, irritates it. Um, but my, like, skin peeling problem has been around for a while. And it's always been around, and it's kind of bad lately. Um... But, yeah. Um, here's the deal, yo. I'm a little bit stressed. I was imagining AP testing is like 11 days. 
uh, <laughs> uh, and then I'm just like, I have so many projects that I have to do, and then I'm just kind of like, boo-boo, lots of projects here, like shit, um, yeah, just, it's just bad, uh, oh, ah, uh, yeah, but I got my charger back, because, I spent the night with my Uncle Mike at the, um, at my dad's house. Uh, which technically is Mike's house since my dad's not there anymore. And I accidentally left my charger there. So, like, when I came home Sunday night, I was like, boy, my phone is dying. Like, where's my charger? And then I was like, oh, remove. My charger's missing. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, no. And then I went, like, all day without my phone. Which, honestly, wasn't that bad. Like, I was reading and I had, like, a lot more time to do other stuff and hear really loud. But, um, like, I just kind of miss my phone a little bit, but, like, not extreme, you know? Same, okay. <laughs> um, hmm. why do we keep like doing mouth like noises slash gestures? I don't know, I do not know. Just like just the thing that I'm doing right now, I don't know. Uh, uh, also, homework is kind of, like, irritating because, like, I'm just kind of, like, fed up with math. Like, I'm just, <sighs> and then, like, I, it was, it's Monday, so, like, the weekend, like, I completely, like, kind of, like, forgot about what we learned on Friday because, like, I do that because I have a shit memory. And my teacher just kind of, like, had us, like, do some problems, practice problems, and she was, like, here, jog your memory or whatever, and I was, like, what and then like for like the first like 10 problems i had no fucking clue what i was doing and i was just kind of like chicken scratch like here you go <laughs> like i don't know what i'm doing like oh, help and like she was just kind of like i'm busy with other people right now i can't help you and i was like okay well i guess i'm just gonna chicken scratch the whole fucking thing and then like pretty much like half the problems i didn't even get and it wasn't until the end that i thought i was getting it but then i started doing like my worksheet and i was like I don't understand anything. Help. And then she kind of helped me, but, like, I still don't fully understand. And I'm just kind of like, boy, my brain fucking hurts. <laughs> um, also, I got ASVAB testing back. And, which ASVAB testing is, like, the military testing. Um, and pretty much expected. I got... Really, really low math scores, really, really bad technical scores, and then bad uh, mechanical skills. I'm kind of disappointed because I thought I knew enough, but apparently not. Um, and then I had okay social skills, surprising. Um, I had okay paragraph phrasing, something like that, and then I had really, really good word uh, something word. Basically, all the stuff that I was good at was verbal, social, and word, like, vocabulary kind of stuff, which makes sense. <laughs> um, except for the social part, because, like, I'm not social at all, but, like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I always kind of cool knowing that. Um, and then I got to, like, see the jobs that I'm interested in. And then I also talked to one of the recruiters, um, who was actually for the Marines, but he was really nice about it. He, like, wasn't trying to, like, make me go to the Marines. He was kind of like, yeah, I know a guy uh, that, like, does all of California who's for the Coast Guard, and, like, he can help you. He's, like, one of the recor recruiters. He's, like, the only recruiter for California because, like, the Coast Guard branch, they're, they're not even defense anymore. They're more of, like, taking care of America's shit. You know, like, you know, like, they're the cleanup crew. And, um... <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm just, uh, what was I going to say? Um, wow, 
Instagram. And Joa, you're so good at this. Um. Wow, I am. Do not. Oh, he said there's like there's one Coast Guard recruiter for all of California because the Coast Guard branch is really small. Blah blah. And then he said that um he gave me his card and I felt all business like I was like oh my god look at me I'm an adult. And then <laughs> um but he wasn't like pressuring me to like go into the Marines, which is really nice because like usually when you talk to recruiters they're all about like they're kind of like salesmen so they're kind of like yo like. I'm the best, like, please, like, go for me or whatever. He wasn't like that. He was super nice. He was, like, very, like, like, yeah, I, there's one Coast Guard dude. Like, I, here's my business card. If you need any help later on, like, blah, blah, And I was, like, thank you. Like, this is, like, that's so nice. Like, that's great. Like, blah, 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 blah. Like, you get it. Um, the video's ending. So, like, you know, it's the end here. I'm a very stressed child. <laughs> uh... But, yeah. Oh, my God. Also, I forgot to mention, it was really, really awkward today. Because one of our best friends, uh, best friends at school, she, um, I hadn't seen her in three days. So, I was, like, being very touchy-feely, like, very, like, because I'm, like, that with people I'm, like, I'm really close to. Like, I just, like, I'm very, like, your family. Like, I'm going to touch you. Like, you're my family. Like, I'm going to be really cuddly, like, very touchy. Like, just, just, just how I am. And so, but, like, everyone in the group basically knows my sexuality. They know I'm pansexual or whatever. And so they took me being all touchy-feely with her as, like, romantic. And they were just kind of, like, looking at me awkwardly. And I was like, oh, this just got awkward. Like, no. Like, this is my best friend. Like, this is just how I interact with, like, my best friend and family. Like, this is just, like, it got awkward. And they were just kind of looking at me like, I don't believe you. And I was like, shit. Great. Now they think I have a crush on my best friend. That's great. Like, awesome. Oh, my God. But, like. Uh, just, this is how I am. Like, I don't intentionally, like, act like that. Like, it's just, like, how I am with people that I'm really close to. Like, I just am very touchy-feely. And, like, just, like, compliment them. And I'm just like, boo you look gorgeous. Like, did you gorgeous today? Like, hello. And, like, that's just how I do it. Like, you know? Like, this is how I am. And, like, they don't understand because I'm not that way with them. Because, like, I'm not close to them as I am with her. And, like, my other two best friends, so, like, that they don't understand but i am that way with people that i'm really really close to anyways this video is gonna end in a little bit because like 33 11 is the time that it ends 33 minutes and 11 seconds so yeah i'm gonna say goodbye now <laughs> bye